guys, my name is McKenna and today we're going to be doing a video that my bathroom mirror is tired of hearing. So if you didn't already know, I am obsessed with the Diviner series by Libba Bray. I have them all right here in their glory. I love them so much. And you know, I just, I wanted to talk about them today, but I didn't want to do a full review yet because I'm still working on my like series review. Um, but I decided to talk about all the different time periods in American history this series could take place in. So if you didn't know, The Diviners is a book that takes place in the 1920s and is about a group of kids with superpowers basically trying to save the world. The first book here is about a murderer going around doing occult style killings and the main character Evie has to use her powers to figure out who it is. The second book, Lair of Dreams, is about these two other diviners, Henry and Ling, as they try to discover the secret behind a sleeping sickness that is taking over um, New York. And Before the Devil Breaks You is basically about all of the diviners um, harnessing their powers and trying to save the world. That's is where the saving the world part comes in. But with this series, the author has opened up so many different situations for this world to be in different periods of time and future and everything and I just want to talk about it today. So obviously this series takes place in the 1920s and the 1920s does hold a lot of significance to the story. This time period is a time that really reflects on our current time and it's just it really is a big part of the story. So I don't think this specific story should be set in any other time, but I do think that there is room for more series and more stories in this world in different time periods. Going all the way back to when it was just Native Americans before anyone discovered America, I think that would be a super interesting story just to have um, diviners in that situation. And right after that, about the Revolutionary War time, I think it would be super interesting to see a diviner in Revolutionary War time. And you know, um, Hamilton is really big right now. So if we had like Hamilton with fire powers explaining why he's so hot headed and everything, like, I feel like you would sell a lot, Libba, if you wrote a book with Alexander Hamilton in it. And I'm not even the biggest fan of Alexander Hamilton. And if you wrote a book about Alexander Hamilton being a diviner and it was like a glowing novel about his everything and like how he's the greatest person alive. I would do a complete 180 and I would love that guy forever just because you told me to. Going a little farther forward, I think the Civil War would also be a really interesting time to have diviners and to have a diviner story. The only other historical fiction that I've really seen with the Civil War timeline is Dread Nation by Justina Ireland, and that was more about the outcome of one thing happening in the war as opposed to the war as a whole. It's going to become very evident that I don't know a lot about American history in this video, just so you know. Obviously, we're taking place in the 1920s right after World War I, and we do have some flashbacks to World War I, but World War II would be interesting as well to see kind of how um, the Diviners evolved from that 1920s if America now uses them as like these superhuman army like they tried to in World War I, but like better this time. And I also think that the 1950s would be an interesting time to discover. Honestly, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, all interesting times to explore. Um, this world in it there are like a, an endless possibility of times it would also be interesting to get a story in the diviners world in our time and day now and have a lot of people like think that it's just a, a plea for attention and it's like CGI or something I think that would be super interesting um, because it would also reflect what some people thought in uh, Before the Devil Breaks You. And obviously this is just American history. We don't know much about the Diviners being anywhere but America. So if we had the opportunity to put like Diviners in Australia and Diviners in France and Diviners in London and Europe and Russia and Asia and Africa and South America and like Brazil, those would be also super interesting stories to explore. 
Like I said, obviously the 1920s holds a huge significance in the story, so I don't think this specific story should be set anywhere outside of this timeline. But I think Liva Bright is amazing at writing characters. I love this world, and I would love to see what she would come up with in different time periods. With all of the current, like, YA historical fiction coming out, we have, like, gladiator times, prehistorics, the Restruction period, uh, obviously the Victorian age. We just have a nice array of history. And even though I personally don't know a whole banger of a lot about American history, I think there is a lot to explore in American history, especially with this world, and I think that that would be a super interesting thing for Liva Bray to explore in different stories, as I've repeated multiple times throughout this video. And Liva Bray has previously explored Victorian age England with her Gemma Doyle series. I'm pretty sure that's when it was. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's when it was. So she already knows a little bit about that. But I would be super interested in reading anything that Libra Bray has to put out in this world. Obviously, if you haven't noticed, like, I'm obsessed with it. But that is all I have really talking about the different time periods. If you didn't notice today, my, um, makeup look was inspired by the books. I have the purple the green and the blue going outward, and then obviously the black lipstick for like the black tones in it. This is just the first of a many Diviners inspired videos on my channel, so if you haven't yet read them, stop hurting me and go read them now. If you're watching this and you have read the Diviners, comment down below what you think would be the most interesting time period to explore this world in. Make sure to like this video and subscribe down below, and I will see you sometime for a new video. Bye!